If you watch any of my live streams or anything like that, you might have heard me saying the GT was out again because I was working on, well, it's not really much of a surprise, contrast stitching. I felt a little inspired by Shmi because I saw his Instagram post and then videos. He took his seats over to Sparco and he had some contrast stitching done on them so it matched the paint job of the car. And it's something that I'd always felt was missing from the interior, but I was like, I was a little worried, right? Changing something about the car from stock to aftermarket. I guess in his case, it's technically still OEM. But in my case, didn't want to send the seats all the way back to Europe, so had it done locally. I decided to commit to it. Super pleased with the result. Let me show you. This is gonna be a really short video, but I still thought I'd share, having just got the car back. Also, everyone's gonna comment about it not being parked in the lines. I didn't park it. It was an employee here who's very high up, so don't, don't mind that. All right, look at this. The embroidery on the headrest matching the paint on the outside. Oh, it's so cool, because previously it was just sort of embossed into the fabric, but now we've got that contrast stitching. Basically what, a, what they did was they looked at the Gulf Heritage car, which has contrast stitching, and I was just like, match whatever stitching patterns they have in there. So it basically reflects all the contrast stitching locations you would get in one of the Heritage cars, steering wheel as well because they have that in there. And it looks OEM. Oh, it looks so good. I like carbon fiber, but I also like contrast stitching. Dude, I just, I love the headrest. It looks so good. And it's subtle enough to where it doesn't look out of place. Like if you didn't know that contrast stitching was not an option in this configuration of the car, you would have no idea that this wasn't actually done at the factory. And that was my worry. I was like, mm, this is actually having to be, have to be done aftermarket. And I'd never done any sort of interior changes to any of my cars before. This is the first time I've ever done it. Super pleased. It looks great. It just adds that little extra element that I feel like the interior was missing because I like to tie the interior into the exterior. And prior to this, nothing really did it. I had the floor mats in there. These were custom done after the fact too. Exotic hair on Instagram. So the stitching was like, I just said, hey, match the stitching that's in these custom floor mats that were already made. And then just put that around the rest of the car. Oh, it looks so good. Miami blue inside and out now. Ah, oh, it's so great. Anyway, that's it. It was just a really short video. Thought I'd show you where the car's been, what was being done, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll end it there. Probably like the shortest video I've posted on this channel, but I'm so pleased with how it turned out. So uh, appreciate the guys at Galpin, Steve, for arranging it, and uh, glad I trusted you with it. He was pretty confident they could pull it off. I was concerned, but uh, that makes it all worthwhile right there. All right, that's it. See you next time.